let's 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 um let's do a bit of panel line stuff, hey? Already now I've got my um panel line accent. I'm gonna use a black one, which if I use sparingly should um should wash out nicely. Um I've got my odorless thinner, which we've used before. It's like terps but doesn't smell. But it still is a noxious chemical, as I found. So you do need your windows open and um Although it does make your eyes water and it certainly is a lot nicer to use. Um, I left my model out overnight when I was doing the SU-152 with the odorless thinner because I couldn't smell it. And then I woke up the next morning with really puffy eyes and I'd obviously had a reaction. But I am quite a little baby and quite sensitive to these things. Anyway, we digress. Let's um, let's give this a go. So I've um, got one of my little mixy containers here for the odorless, so we'll put that out of the way. Uh, what we'll do first is we'll do something simple. So if we bugger it up, which can always happen, um, basically, it's going to be easy to fix. So what I thought I'd do is, you see, uh, see here these um, these these little flaps that go on the back of um, the back of Skyhawk here. Oh, where are we? Camera angles. It's all weird. Um, on the back of Skyhawk here, there's little little flaps that open there, breaks or something. I don't know. They certainly they're going to be open on mine, and I've I've I'm mirroring my. Uh, my look and my flat positions on a photo I've got of one landing on a carrier. I'll, I'll put that at the end of this, but um, you would have seen it before. So, given this bit of a shake, it doesn't take much. And what I love about the um, this Tamiya one is you get a little applicator with it. See, it already comes with a little doodad. So we can uh, we can go straight in. I need to make myself some room here so I can see what the hell I'm bloody doing. Uh, we can go straight in here and um, pop that in all the holes. So it saves me, saves me having to um, wash a brush. So there we go. That's um, that's one. And all I'm doing is um, going into all the recesses. I'm not going to use much because unlike the tanks, unlike when I do the armored vehicles, where you um, you need lots, I'm only going to put a little dab on there because I'm going to take about 90% of this off. At least that's the theory. Okay, so she's all dirty now. All right, now um, I probably don't need to wait because really I'm going to rub away. So my theory is I'm only going to use the tiniest bit of odorless thinner. I'm really not going to need much at all. Well, and that tiniest bit ended up being a gargantuan glump. But I've got a whole model to do here. So um, dabbing it on with your cotton bud or Q-tip or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm working at weird angles here so you can see what's going on. Is I'm just going to basically remove as much of that as I possibly can. All right, and then go to the clean side. And there we go. So what do I end up with? What I should have done is only done one and left the other one. Eh? I'm in my own shadow here. What do you think? That's kind of spiffed them up a bit, hasn't it? And I'll, um, let me have a look here. Where's my extra strong reading glasses? Oh, it always happens, doesn't it? I started, oh, that's better. Now I can see what I'm bloody doing. Oh, goodness me. Needs a little bit of adjusting. Uh, that looks mighty. Nothing wrong with that. And that's all you need. Yeah, happy with that. So, um, see, it's brought out all those little recessed holes, and um, that's added a little bit of shading there. And the beauty is with this, I can let it dry, and if I'm not happy, or well, I missed one there, if I'm not happy, um, most of it I can sort of wash out again because my undercoat was my Tamiya. Um, Sorry, can't think and talk at the same time, can I? Hey, brain can't engage. Um, my undercoat was the Tamiya lacquer, a lacquer, right? And um, although it's acrylic, it's also a lacquer. So it really does make a very impermeable layer that you can work on. Because I can put water-based, you know, hand-brush acrylics on top of this, like the um, the Valley Ho or the um, ones I like, the Ammo Mig, and they'll wash off with water. And water doesn't take off the Tamiya 
lacquer. The only thing that's going to take it off is the thinner. You actually got to use the alcohol based, and I think it's got some bloody ice or glocal something rather horrible. I know whatever it is, it's classified an explosive, and that's why often you can't get those, um, those rattle cans actually sent in the mail because they're considered an explosive item. There you go. Shh, don't tell Terrace. Shh. Um, Okay, that'll get my bloody video banned, won't it? Yeah, oh good. All I've got to do now is go, Allah Akbar! Oh dear, now I'm stuffed. Oh dear, here comes Asia. Here's the helicopters. Um, if I get carted away in the middle of this video, well, you, you know why. But look, it's, I'm just joshing. Anyhow, they're nice. I think I've got the confidence to keep going. Now I've got a couple of little, um, those are uh, little flappy things um, for either side of the... Um, on here on either side of the, the wheels. So I'll do those. So I'll sort of potter on, I'll do a few more, and then we'll come back when I do what is going to be much more subtle work, is I'm going to do the panel lines. We'll see how we go using this method on this aircraft. And here's the result of only a few minutes work. Uh, can you tell the difference? One side, I've got all those lovely I mean, forget about the shadows, but can you see all the panel lines are nice and dark? They've all been washed out. On this side, you can see you can see the panel lines because of shadows, but they're not as pronounced. And I've got some some really nice little effects happening there in all the little lines. And can you see in the, um, the undercarriage? How's the lighting? And you can see on one side. It's lovely, all the little details show, everything's fine. But on the other side, it's just white. So this is really, um, really coming along well. Now, what I did find is two tricks, um, probably because I'm using too dark a shade. I mean, you'd probably be better off mixing up a, uh, a not, you know, a dark grey. So what I found is don't shake my bottle too much. <laughs> use, use the top part, which is very, very thin, and um, that, that gives me um, um, more, more of the effect I want without overdoing it. And the other thing is, it's bloody hot here today. Um, it's still winter in Australia, and yet we're having a heat wave today. This is like a mild summer's day, or even quite a warm spring day, and um, the humidity's high as well. And this stuff was drying as fast as I put it on, so I could only do a small area and then wipe it off. Otherwise, I found if I sort of worked too far ahead and then I came back with the cotton bud, it was as dry as a bloody lizard's tongue. It really was. And I had to scrape and scrape and scrape, and I managed to actually break one of the parts off with my scraping. But um, no, it came along well. I'll show you a little bit. I'll um, I'll do this side here. We'll try and do that to camera, and um, you can see how how it worked. And it gave me the effect that I wanted. Um, there's there's heaps of ways of doing this. You know, I've seen people do a really good job with um, pastel chalks and things like that. But um, this was fast. This was easy. This was using skills that I already had, and um, I'm pretty happy. Here we go, let's uh, give this a try. So, um, sorry, my hand's in the way there. So, I've got my little uh, Tamiya thing. Now, just, I know you should get, should get some capillary action, but, um, and that does happen, but I'm doing this sort of my method, which is similar to the way I do the tanks. And, and you know, I've seen some guys just like tap on there, gently tap on a panel line, and bingo, you know, it all flows through. See, there you go, there's a bit of capillary action up in there. Let's just do that small area, and then I found, make sure your cotton bud is nice and clean each time. Keep using a clean one. And um, also found stroking in the direction that the aircraft will get wear. Sort of a good trick. See, it's dry already. We've only been doing this for a couple of seconds, and it's dry already. Look at that, absolutely bone dry already. So you may have a cooler climate and you might get a bit more time to do this than I have, but um, as you can see, I haven't actually scrubbed. And I, <laughs> I only put that on seconds ago, not even a minute. Okay, so. Um, it's not too bad, it's going to need a bit of touching up. As always, when you try and do this to camera, and because I have to sort of do it off an angle, it doesn't work as well. But you can see the effect, okay? I'm not lying. I'm not pulling your leg. 
this is this is true fair dinkum okay so the effects that I got over there that's how I achieved them now we'll have to go back and do a bit more touching um, because it's as I say, it's pretty hard for me to do this to camera and um, be able to see what I'm doing but um, I also as usual I'm not wearing my extra strong reading glasses am I no no but anyhow you get the idea it's not that hard and it's kind of working I'll, I'll keep going um, oh, I'll quickly show you look the the inside of these things was really easy like here because I'm using the thin part of this right? because I didn't actually shake my bottle up too much it's hardly going to need any cotton budding at all right? whoa you bumped the bloody iPad it's an earthquake, an earthquake well we had two last week amazing, earthquakes in Australia so uh, that's about all it took you know it really um, it was that easy and that's going to require the tiniest bit of cotton budding out mm -hmm.